Hello everybody. It's been three months since I've made a video and I am back um, once again. I've been working like crazy. My boss has been out. I've been filling in for her and I have a lot of work on the side I'm doing with school, finishing up my master's degree and everything. Um, but today I was planning to do two videos. I was planning to make two videos on different vehicles that I found under the free section of 5M, which is getting smaller and smaller every single day I look in here. And I've run into a slight problem. And this is something that I wasn't planning to make a video on. I just wanted to make a video on a resource. But I'm running into the problem of actually not being able to download anything free. Um, and the reason for this is because 5M is now forcing uh, developers, well, not forcing for free developers, allowing free developers to use Tebex and their integrated uh, download system rather than just providing a plain download through GitHub. And there are reasons for this. They're collecting a lot of data on the back end of what resources are being downloaded and how 5M manages that. Um, but I can understand that as a business, you want to do that. However, it's making the user experience absolutely terrible. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video because I couldn't actually make a video on any of the resources I wanted to cover today. Um, now, I'm going to point out two resources that I tried to download earlier. Um, these were on the forums just as uh, things that I found while scrolling through here. Um, and it's nothing against these users. Um, however, there's a better way to do this. Um, and I think this is a setting on some of these store pages. And these are two different examples. There are plenty of examples that probably don't have this. But this is something that I just wanted to highlight. Um, so if I'm on here and I'm trying to download a free car, and this is through Tebex. It's the same on this one. It's a free vehicle. You do it through Tebex. It's the escrow system, so it protects the code. I can understand people wanting to do that. I've been a developer myself dealing with people leaking stuff. Completely understand that. That's fine. The problem that I run into in both of these resources is if I go to their store, I'm logged in with 5M. Even if I log out, let's say I log out, and then I want to get that same vehicle, the same free vehicle. It says it's free. I add to basket. It's going to be like, please log in via 5M. Absolutely fine. I log in via 5M. It's going to redirect, log in using my forms account. I come back over here. I'm now logged in. First of all, it redirects me. Not the end of the world. I'm just going to go back to that again. I'm going to press add to basket. Basket's empty. Great. Refresh the page again. Do it again because Tebex is just always broken. And then it says this. You must log into Discord so we can identify you on our server. Why? Why do I need to join a Discord server to download a free product? There is zero reason to do this. And you are making my life very difficult. And this isn't the only one that does it. Let's say I go over here. Here's a free resource, another free vehicle. I go over here, I click add to cart, and there we go again. Log in with Discord so we can identify you. I can't actually do a video on any of these resources without getting stuck by a Discord login. And I'm sorry, I am not joining a Discord server that I'm never going to use again after the video because you want me to join just to download a product that you're making. That is not user friendly. And it is a terrible way of doing things. Um, and again, this isn't probably a thing for all resources. I, I highly doubt it's a thing for all resources. Um, like this one, for example. This one allows you to just download it directly from the page. Amazing. Perfect job, people. Um, but there's other resources where you will run into that problem where you can't download it directly from the page because people don't understand that. This one, it looks like it's... I can't even find a link to download this one. Oh, download here. Tebex. Let's see if this does the same thing again. See if this is a different site, completely different one. Let's see if this one lets me download it. Log in with 5M. We can do that. Will it force me to go to Discord? See, this one doesn't. So this is how it should be. You shouldn't be forced to do a Discord login just because you need the users or something. This is a good way to do it. So props to this developer. So anyway, this was my video to say this has gotten way too complicated on a free user to just come and download. Like if I'm trying to make 20 videos in a day because I'm so busy and I wanna put out a video every couple of days in a week, I don't have time to join people's individual Discord servers to download a resource. That's ridiculous. Once I connect to that Discord server, if they're using OAuth, who knows what type of data they're collecting. They're probably gonna to wanna to be able to automatically join their server rather than me actually just manually joining. There's so many things that doesn't make sense here to me and that may be just me as a software person, but there's zero reason for that. So anyway, 
Uh, I'm going to leave it there for today. Hopefully in the next week, I can come back and be like, hey, this is where I'm ultimately going to be doing videos. This is what uh, some good resources I found. But anyway, I just wanted to bring this up and see if anybody else is having this problem um, because it is pretty ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in a couple weeks.